am at a very unique farm. I'm with Jennifer Cavender, and Jennifer, these plants are not the most that you see on family farms. I know it as a physalis, but what is the name that you know it as? Chinese lanterns. And they're really great for fall interest. And so, well, let's talk about how to grow them. So how do you grow them out here? You can grow them by seed, or you can grow them by roots. And so we grow them by roots because we dig up every single year if we want to transplant the uh, area. And then we just put them in rows. And as you can see, the rows just kind of mingle together <laughs> as they're growing throughout the spring. And this field is one year old. Ah, and it's pretty big. I mean, probably an acre or so here. So I can see that some of them are orange and some of them are still green. So how do we know when to harvest them to make them uh, a nice bouquet? We like to get the bells as ripe as possible, meaning the top bell we would like orange because all florists are looking for the height for their um, arrangements, for their fall arrangements. Uh, and then you just cut them off and um, you dry them? Right, so we'll have our workers come out and you actually go to the base of the plant and you just snip them with clippers. And uh, then they pile them up after they're done clipping them and then you remove all the leaves and any damaged bells and then we uh, grow them by or sell them by sizes and they'll just sort them by sizes. Ah, and so we're going to go see that exactly see how they're working on it but before we do that so if I want to grow these in my yard what kind of conditions do I need? Uh, you'll need good drainage for soil, water, some fertilizer. We would suggest a pot mm. and not in your yard because we've had people call us and ask us to remove the lanterns <laughs> and even after we've removed them they'll continue to grow back. Yeah it's kind of like mint so it'd be all over. So now let's go over to the barn and go see the finished product. Okay sounds great. Now, Jennifer, you were telling me on the walk over that these are actually in a tomato family. They are. So if you open up the... Oh, look at that. Yes. And now you have a kind of funny story about this fruit. I do. Uh, we have a... We had a delivery driver. <laughs> he came one year and was picking up our shipments and he decided to eat the berries. Oh, so they're edible too. They are edible. But uh, we never saw him again. So I just don't know what happened. You could eat them, but I just don't know what'll happen. Yeah, because they can be a laxative. <laughs> they can. Okay, so. so be careful if you're gonna eat them. But they are so beautiful. So here, this is your drying area. And so these are just beautiful right here. Yes, so these are one of our sizes that we have. Um, we consider this our fancy size. It's a 30 bell bunch. And um, as you can see, I'll just take this down sure. for a reference. All the leaves have been removed, any damaged bells. And what we will do is when we go to wrap, we will double check to make sure there's 30 bells here and that if there are more damaged bells from the drying process, we will remove those. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you can just use them as a, a cut flower or a cut dried flower like that, but then you make these lovely wreaths that are just gorgeous. Yes, yes. So here is our wreath that we make. Wow, yeah. look at that. So now that looks like autumn. Mm -hmm. How pretty. Yeah, and this will last for a few years. I have one in my house that's been on my front door for three years. It's on the inside of the door. Okay. And if you keep them out of direct sunlight, they do last. Um, they will fade with time, but right. they still look really nice. Jennifer, where can people get these? They're lovely. Oh, uh, we only sell to wholesale florists. So you'll have to check with your florist. And we sell across the United States, uh, Boston, uh, New York, Florida. So anybody across the United States could get them. <laughs> Well, really, if you're interested in these, so um, check into your local florist and bring a little fall home this, this season. Thanks so much. This is great. You're very welcome. <laughs>